I guess if the um, door next to the big rat opened, we'd be down there somewhere. I don't think I picked up any new keys though, so this might be a little bit fruitless. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Right, so this one's locked. So I still don't have the key for this. What's the, uh... Oh, I ho hope you had a good weekend as well. Um, I can't remember if this one had, had like, a, a separate door next to the big, the big rat. Okay, I got some mana back. You yeah, haven't missed any bosses or anything. We've uh, just been gently, gently heading through. Ooh, ow. Glad he, I got him before he did the belly flop again. Youch. Big rat is big. Uh, still trying to get somewhere on YouTube. You know, trying super hard and getting very little back in return. Yeah, I'm still trying to cool my house down. Like, the temperature won't go down no matter how much I leave the windows open. I'm a little bit too hot at the moment, rather than cold. Uh, see, I cleared the um, the big uh, enemy bonfire that they were all gathered around upstairs, got me an Estus shard. And then uh, after that, we pretty much just came down here. I'm, I met a guy with a great big hammer. Yeah, I, I press the key, but if I'm too late, then I'm I'm too late. Yeah, we met we met this guy. Big hammer time. Uh, and I opened this door. I didn't go through it yet. Let's check it out. I did. I really did. Oh wow! An automated lift system. Oh, wh whoa, hello. Buddy, how you been? Onion night. What? Hmm. 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 Oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up, and that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> First of all, awesome, awesome, awesome. But secondly, I think I figured it out already. Like he says, that lift only goes down. But we started with with a lift already there, right? So all we need to do is send it down without us, and then get onto it. So we've got two different ways to go in this place already. We can go down to where this guy just came from, and we can go up to the guy, I think. Let's talk to him one more time. This lift only goes down. But you know, with a little warming up, eventually... Mm. 
No. No. <laughs> I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, this guy's so me. This lift only go with a little. Ah, oh, maybe with a little warming up, that if we go in the right direction. Yeah, that's that's my kind of hopeful thinking. Let's send this guy down. And get that other bit show up again that we started with. Aha! See if he thinks anything of that. This lift oh, with a. No. Okay. Well, just like before, then in Dark Souls One, I'll go ahead and I'll clear things. And uh, you, you wait there, Mr. Onion. Okay, cool. I love it. Like a like a double use lift. Hey, friend. Did you stop uh, shooting at me? I can make peace, or I can leave. Now I'm a guy who who loves a little bit of peace. I help any time. Young white branch. Okay. I help any time. Does that mean you're going to stop shooting me then? Uh, young white branch. Consumable. Swarm blending into the environment. Oh, okay. So I could like pretend to be like a jar and then he won't shoot me like the guy from Dark Souls 2 I guess or maybe he just won't shoot me full stop and then that's just like an extra thing okay I don't see much else to do up here uh, other than you know try and leap off let's have a look at some of the sights nice little castle down there Lots of little ones, lots of big ones. This is where we uh, came down from the uh, the demons giving us a lift. This is where we've been tracking through. I don't think I've been to this place. Looks fun though. What is that? Oh no. Are you a smelter demon? With an axe? Oh dear. Did I go down there already and like... Get killed by something like that? I don't think so. Oh man. E huh, I don't know what you need a verified account for. You've messaged me before. Huh. So your workaround is that you need to use a different device. Hmm. Very strange. Oh cool, a piece of loot that I missed. Soul of a Nameless Warrior. Well, I guess if I find it, I didn't miss it. Hmm. Yeah. That was interesting. He sort of said, hmm, while I was going down the lift, but he's not here anymore. He's, he's left, he's gone. Okay, let's, uh, let's try the downstairs area of this place where he was. <laughs> like, he's my second favourite guy, I think, in the game. I think my first favourite guy is the, um, the giant blacksmith still. But, ah, uh, oh, Onion Dad is a close second. Okay. 
Okay. What we got? Wow, this place is cool. Do I still have my torch? I do. Nice. Damn, the lighting's good. Oh, there's a guy down there. Any boulders on the ceiling? No. Is this guy going to be mad about me taking this, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't want me to take that. So I wasn't quite as behind the pillar as I thought when I tried to um, cast my shield improvement. Uh, and then it all went bad from there. Yeah. Uh, so having to stop and like do this animation to improve my shield, I really need to have that prepared before I do anything. Oh no, I took off my shield and like undid it. Jeez. Okay. Let's go again. I like it though, I like some of these like, uh, I mean the games describe them as a dog, but like the, the floor knights with their frost stuff are actually really, really cool. So, I lost my 3,000 souls, and that's kind of, that's kind of sad, but I guess that's what I get for not trying to go in with the, with the big spells. We'll, uh, we'll work into it. We'll find some way to balance, um, spells and, and sword combat. Like, I think these are, these are fine, using the sword. swap out for the uh, bigger spells for the bigger guys. Oh, I see if you got me on the way down. Clever girl.
put a bit of poise uh, damage on it. Okay. All right. Now we're maximizing our Dean again. Gotta go full Dean. You like poking around in cells, do you? <laughs> How very genteel. <laughs> ah. Taking an interest in her, if you. Which is a lost cause. Couldn't even become a firekeeper. After I brought her all this way and got her all ready. She's beyond repair, I tell you. <laughs> this guy is mean. Like, that's no way to talk about someone. The woman's a lost cause. Couldn't even become a firekeeper. She's beyond repair, I tell you. <laughs> the woman's a lost Couldn't even. She's beyond. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, I'll help her out if you won't. Come on. Ah, I need to find my way down there so I can. And save her from this jerk. Jeez. Um, so this is probably the upstairs one. So let's uh, roll off of this. Let's try and remember to send uh, this lift back up. Um, so that when I die in a minute, I can uh, at least just come down here directly. You should see if there's any more to this place. No, I don't think there's another lift coming up. There's no wires or anything. Still. Maybe I do want to use both. Like I'll pass this magic shield. Drink the flask. Swap out to Heavy Soil Arrow, Shield, and Big Zap. This guy is insane. just kind of like, uh, you know, he's got a, like a status effect, so I can't really block forever. But also, he is fast and he is powerful. He's got the whole, he's got the whole thing going for him.
Alright, I'm getting better at the run. We still need to, like, win versus Frosticus. I'm surprised the Sir Onion came from this way, seeing as there's still such a such an amazing enemy down here. He must have just missed him on the way through, I think. There is just no time between the things he does and the next thing he does. Like, I try to, like, when he tried to do the breath attack, I immediately try to weave a spell in there. And by the time I've got my, uh, my staff up in the air and I've waved it around a bit, he's already, like, into the next sword swing. That is so difficult. Let's try, um, see if there's any more leads in, like, in the church. I, I feel like the bottom of the, the church, though, was maybe... You know, nothing. I guess now that we've reset the area, let's take a take a quick look. I'm starting to get the same kind of feeling of this uh, frost guy as I did with like the Titanite demon in Dark Souls 1. That's near... Uh, it's near the blacksmith. Yeah, not a lot going on in here. Okay, next idea. We made uh, made friends with the uh, the bow giant. Maybe we can safely go the other way now. This way. So if I step about here, we'll shoot those guys for sure, I think, rather than me. Okay, now's the test. Is he going to shoot at me? Cool. I feel a tiny bit safe. There's the patrol, guys. I mean, as long as I, I'm not too close, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about, like, getting too close to that.
is a good shot. Fading soul. Worker gloves. Rubbish. Soul of a large deserted corpse. A young white witch. Nito. Message. Arrows of a giant rain down beside the white birch. Yeah, they, they certainly do. Message. They certainly do. Hey, that means I can look around up here. Fun. Who's this? A mortician's ashes. How do I know it's a mortician's ashes? Am I, am I like ash detective? It's a really peculiar skill. <laughs> what did I win? Blue wooden shield, a cleric hat, a cleric blue robe, cleric gloves, and some cleric trousers. I don't have the stats for a uh, blue wooden shield. Okay, so only the top bit of the tooltip different. Um, painted bright blue, the symbol of clerics who have become undead, close to a small shield in size. Cleric outfit. Uh, attire for blue robe travellers. It's said that they were entrusted with the duty. It is still... Uh, still its nature is yet to be revealed. Interesting. They bore large covers on their backs to ensure that they would not become seedbeds for spreading darkness. Okay. So maybe those guys, the travellers from the intro and the guy that I had to go with me were clerics but he said he was a sorcerer the guy I befriended interesting oh hello the masters are tired I think we looked at that when we killed the uh, samurai chap uh, a terribly worn shirt men are uh, fond of weaving tales to explain the raggedness of their garb my sixth sense warned me of danger and I danced between flurries of blades unscathed but alas my clothes went to tatters ah saying that there's not a lot of truth to some of the stories about how incredible the, uh, the tatters are. I like it. So this way went up towards the boss, as we know. What about this? What's going on down here? Oh dear, it's a jump. Not overly confident that the jump button's gonna, you know, do its thing. Thank, thank, thanks, jump button. <laughs> Hilarious. That's that's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> 